What's up guys, we're here, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna bring, be bringing you a Diablo 3 uh, God Speeds Build or God Build Guide for the Demon Hunter in Season 28 coming. So as of right now, there's no changes that are gonna be coming to the, uh, to the God DH set. And um, I really hope that they do give it a little bit of a buff, but until then, this is what we have, guys. So any buff that they do give to this will be amazing. I don't think the build is gonna change much if they do give it a damage buff, but hopefully they do because this is gonna be your Hadrid's gift at the start of the season. And it's also gonna be your best farming gift, especially if they do not change the spike trapped uh, Natalia's set, which would be nuts. If they change, if they don't change this where you can spin to win still with Natalia's, then that's going to be your go-to. But until then, you're going to be farming all of your gear and everything that you need for the Demon Hunter and other sets with the God DH set. And it's still one of my favorites. So let's go over everything that you guys are going to need for this build in season 28. So don't mind the power here. We do have another, uh, uh, what is this a uh, dawn but i wanted to showcase this for the stats because these those are the exact stats you want so you're going to go with the full six piece set of god dh you're going to gain four seconds of momentum when you're stacking your primary skill which you're going to see right here so when you're stacking that you're going to see that little uh foot max up stacks which is huge once you get to 20 your primary skills deal 10% increased damage per stack. The four set piece bonus is you're gonna get damage reduction while strafing and increased movement for each stack of momentum, which is huge. And then your six set piece bonus is primary skills deal 15,000% damage because everything is gonna be coming from uh, your primary skills with uh, hungering arrow, devouring arrow in this build. Okay, so the full six piece here, uh, we paired that with Wraps of Clarity for defense. So as your hatred generators are hitting, you get uh, damage reduction um, for five seconds, which this is always gonna be up while you're strafing around. We paired this up with the Focus and Restraint Rings for maximum damage when we're using a resource generating and using our Hungering Arrow because we're gonna be spamming this at least every four seconds. And then of course, Squirt's Necklace for double damage. Next, a must key have item here, guys, is Hunter's Wrath. Your primary skills attack 30% faster and deal increased damage. Huge. You have to have this, okay? Next piece in our weapons, guys, is going to be our Dawn, which this is very, very important. You need to have this so that way you can have permanent uptime on your uh, Vengeance ability. The max on here is 65%. So as long as you have a cooldown reduction, uh, excuse me, I got to swap this real quick just so you can see it. A cooldown reduction of 38%, you will have permanent uptime on vengeance which is what you want for the increased damage okay now my vala's bequest is better than my other one so that's the reason i have it up there just for damage but i'll use this one so you guys can see it in the play okay so uh next this is where you have a little bit of flexibility with the build i prefer vala's bequest because i want all of my strafe uh projectiles to pierce now another big option that you have guys is the fortress ballista this weapon is very very good because as you're strafing around you're going to get a absorb shield for 2.6 percent of your maximum life stacking up to 10 times and this actually pairs really great with your sports necklace so that way you always have that going so totally up to you you use whichever one you want if you feel like you're more squishy use fortress if you don't feel like you're squishy and you're doing okay just with wraps of clarity then use ballist or vala's bequest i really like this one our legendary gems are going to be the Taeguk for uh, increased armor and damage. And then we have uh, Simplicity Strength for our primary skill damage increase. And then, of course, Bane of the Trapped for increased damage. In our cube, guys, we have to have the ninth series satchel. This is, you have to have this. You have to play this or the build just does not work. Hungering Arrow is guaranteed to pierce and it also does increased damage. It can only pierce up to four, four times. Then you have Depth Diggers for primary uh, skills deal 100% additional damage. And then uh, Convention of Elements. I have this in here for increased damage, guys, but you really have a lot of flexibility in this ring. Again, if you feel like you're squishy, an Elusive Ring is fine. Uh, I've done Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac for cooldown, so all these are always up. Uh, you could also do Raceless Ring of Larceny. Stone of Jordan is also really good. Um, so you have a little bit of flexibility there. Uh, Convention of Elements, though, is just the best as far as maximum damage, in my opinion. Uh, down to our skills, guys. Of course, Hungering Arrow, Devouring Arrow, everything starts from this. That way we get our pierce and we get increased damage while we pierce. And then, of course, Strafe, Drifting Shadow for the uh, big movement speed buff while we're um, 
you know dashing around we want movement speed movement speed increase now if you wanted to you could do rocket storm if you really want but i want to be zooming around this map okay next we have a uh, smoke screen special recipe uh so that way you can vanish and get a slight movement speed increase um we want special recipe to reduce the cost because when you're just spamming it your discipline goes very very quick so i and we have two other spells that are spells abilities that we need to use so the reduced cost is huge next is preparation focus mind so we gain the discipline over time really though this could change you could do punishment to return hatred if you feel like you're running low on hatred totally up to you i like to have the discipline increase uh, and then we have companion wolf companion uh, that way we get with 10 percent increased damage um which is just really strong or excuse me 15 percent increased damage for 10 seconds which is just huge just maximum damage output and then of course vengeance dark heart for increased damage and damage reduction into our passes i have tactical advantage for movement speed ambush for additional damage to enemies above 75 percent health coal of the week increased damage against slowed or chilled enemies and then i'm using thrill of the hunt uh, to help pair with this so that way when you're hit by hatred spenders they're slowed which will help proc this but you can swap this out if you don't want to use this you could use blood vengeance if you feel like your resources are low but if that's the case you need to up the gr level steady aim is also good for increased damage archery for uh critical hit chance and then numbing traps if you feel like you are a little bit squishy and want to reduce their damage by 25 percent. any one of those is good or even awareness especially for you hardcore lovers out there i would swap this out for awareness if you're on hardcore but that is the build guys it's still a very very good farming build but we're gonna hop right into a gr90 and kind of showcase this thing off as we always do in our build videos so um and then we'll come back and we'll talk about the um stat priorities that you need on here so again the build is gonna be very easy you start off get those stacks pop all your things and then every couple of seconds you're just gonna hit your hungering arrow button which sucks i really hope that they nerf or not nerf but change that a little bit um, otherwise you're spamming smoke screen preparation and companion when they come up and then when you guys notice right now i'm gonna have permanent uptime on vengeance exactly enough so as long as you have that 38 percent cooldown on your skills then you are on your gear you're going to be fine you're going to be able to spam it all and again look if you look at my hatred here and my my discipline it's never going low like you should never run out especially if there's monsters around but if you do go to a stretch without monsters or across a big open field and there's none you're going to spend it but you definitely want to make sure there's always monsters and if that's the case if you're killing stuff way too quick then you may need to increase either the gr level that you're playing on or you know if you're doing t16 stuff which you wouldn't we have a build video for that so you'll never run out of resources there but if you're running out of resources then you need to increase the gr level and that's all you need to do guys so with this build currently if no changes are done you can do sub two minutes on gr 90s um now again guys this is before all the altar of rights buffs that you're going to have so you're going to be able to do these a lot faster so keep that in mind but as of right now you're doing like sub two minutes gr 90s no problem i mean you see us we just hit just under two minutes still very very fast i hope that they do give it a buff holiday gift guys we're still looking for our wings let's see if we get them live here on the video ah no we didn't bummer okay let's cut back to town after popping this uh gem up and see what we can do here whoops boom shakalaka get this gem maxed up so again there's a lot of flexibility with the build you see here guys that we did it in 141 which is still pretty fast i like to keep this around like minute and a half or minute 20 on god dh but hopefully they buff it because if as soon as they buff it then you're going to be good but again this build is absolutely fantastic it's going to be your hatred's gift uh for the stat priorities on everything guys you're going to want dex vit crit chance uh dex vit all resist cooldown uh dex uh instead of vit you want crit crit dex and then um uh, area damage if you can get it uh, on the chest you want dex fit all resist belt you want dex fit armor hungering arrow damage uh, on the pants dex fit hungering arrow damage boots dex fit all resist armor uh, on the amulet you want cold damage crit crit 
On the bracers, you want cold damage, dex, vit, crit chance. Uh, on both of the rings, you're gonna want crit, crit, and then you could either do dex or damage. Either one is really, really good, um, but I have really crappy focus and restraint rings. They actually kind of suck. Uh, on our weapons, we want damage, dex, area damage, cooldown. Uh, I think the strafe damage is automatically included here. On your uh, Fortress Ballista, same thing. Cold damage, dex, area damage, cooldown. And then on the Dawn, you want the holy damage, which is always there. Dex, area damage, cooldown. And that's going to be the stat priorities for your builds, guys. If you have your follow over here as well, this is the basic setup that I use for the follower. Uh, I have doubled up on Sages and Kane's Destiny for Greater Rift Keystones and Death Breaths. Then you have the gold wrap here, and then you have homing pads, which is pretty standard. Uh, flavor of time for pylons will last twice as long, and then nemesis bracers, so they always spawn champions. I'm opting for gloves of worship, so they all last 10 minutes. And then royal ring of grandeur, the pair of the two. Avarice band is good now when you do your T16 stuff, but when you're doing GRs, I would swap this for oculus ring. Uh, and then make sure you get your follower cannot die try to get your intelligence to sub 25k so that way it maxes these stats out you can see i have a cooldown of uh 9.53 percent once this intelligence modifier gets to 25k it maxes out all the stats here so that is the build guys for the god dh coming in season 28 i really do hope you guys like the build if you're dh uh lovers and um, hopefully they, they, they do buff it and it gets a little bit of a buff because if they change again, Natalia's to be more mechanical instead of spin to win, this is going to be your only spin to win build for DH. Uh, so I really hope that they make it just slightly stronger, maybe change primary skills to 20 K. Uh, and that would be crazy. That would be awesome, man. We get a nice little like 2.5 tier buff. It'd be pretty cool. So, but that is bill guys like the video. If you did enjoy it and comment down below, what do you think about the God speeds, uh, Hadra's gifts build for uh, Diablo, C, uh, Diablo 3 Season 28. And as always, guys, stay gaming, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.